sorry to do this to you, but I am going to try to lose some weight, so I figured I had to take some before and after videos. Um, here is what we've got going on. Um, yeah, not pretty. Let's make that look better. What do you say? Time for initial weigh-in. 236.8. I've been running a bunch lately, uh, trying to do 31 miles in the month of August, and haven't really been worried about my diet or anything like that, just because I've been trying to stay focused on running, and I'm doing pretty good. I really feel like I'm going to accomplish that. I'm about to actually go run my first 5K ever right now, and since I haven't been doing much nutrition stuff, I'm going to get started. Uh, I'm going to dial it in a little bit tighter, but I'm going to start with some intermittent fasting because I kind of eat like that anyways. It seems like a great place to start. And uh, I'm going to try to increase my exercise as well by running more. And hopefully I don't burn myself out by doing too much at once. But I've been running for a month now, uh, so I feel like it's not too much of a transition. August in Texas, it was crazy hot, so I'm ready to go. Time to do this thing. No more excuses. Uh, kind of crazy that I'm about to start running 5K. Uh, but it's go time. I, I did this. Let's make it happen. I did it. 5K is in the books. 41 minutes, 55 seconds. Uh, pretty pleased with that. Uh, 3.2 miles. And... Uh, First time ever to run more than three. Can't believe that only four or five weeks ago I was uh, barely barely running a mile. Uh, it really piles on quick, and I'm 236 pounds as of today. So if I can do it, anyone can. I'm sure of it. See you soon. Now, uh, one of my secrets to motivational success for uh, going on a long run in the hot day is uh, puppy cuddles. Oh gosh. Yes, I missed you too, boys. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> so I've done the running thing. Now I'm losing weight, trying to focus on the diet. Uh, Got to take some days off from running occasionally. So I figured I would start doing yoga. I've never done yoga uh, since I was a kid, but I'm going to try. And that has been the last six months of my life. Hard to believe it's only been six months since I started losing weight. Uh, 238 pounds down to uh, 178 to 179 is about what I'm weighing right now. Uh, and I'm feeling great. I'm doing six days a week of classroom yoga, mostly at Black Swan, some of it at Summit. I'm still climbing three days a week up at Summit. Uh, and, uh, and really just enjoying myself. I'm not running quite as much as I was before. I've been focusing on my flexibility and doubling down on the yoga and trying to do that. I look forward to reincorporating some running back into my life, but uh, I'm really, really, really loving what I'm finding from myself with yoga. Yoga has proven to be as much of a, an emotional rejuvenator uh, and mental rejuvenator as it is physical for me. And it's definitely right up there with climbing as my favorite form of exercise. So uh, definitely a special shout out to Black Swan Yoga uh, here in Dallas and another shout out to Summit Climbing Yoga and Fitness also here in Dallas um, for, for both being such a big part of what I've done. Um, you know, I really feel so great. I cannot advocate to you enough about how much putting good food in my body has made me feel so good. I don't feel like I'm on a diet. I don't feel like I'm restricted. I don't feel like there's stuff I can't eat. I'm too busy putting good food that I love in my body to even sweat about all that stuff that I don't have time for in my life. Um, so do yourself a favor, prioritize yourself. Uh, I started by just doing no fried potatoes. I realized that cheese fries didn't have any sort of value in my life. And I decided when I was 238 and I was doing all that running and not really losing weight, that all I was gonna do was cut cheese fries out of my life and loaded tots, easy slider. But uh, I 
started there. Two weeks later, I wanted to dial it in more. I wanted to dial it in more and I got my diet just tidier and tidier. Now I'm getting my meats from butcher box where I'm able to have meat shipped to me from farms. I know the chicken's free range. I know the beef's grass fed. Uh, I know that the salmon's pole caught. Um, there's been a lot of really great things that I've found and I look forward to sharing them with you. So if you have any questions, chime in down in the comments. I'd love to give you any tips that you might need. Uh, and really, I just want to leave you with one thing. Get out there and do something. If there's a thing in your head that you want, just go do it. There's nothing holding you back besides you. And I know that if you set your mind to it, you can do anything. Just break it down into little baby steps and accomplish one little piece at a time. Six months of weight loss is now complete. I'm gonna keep my lifestyle and carry it on. And the next six months is gonna be about trying to grow some muscle back onto this frame. I know I lost some muscle while I was shaving down this weight, uh, but I feel really strong from all of the working out I've been doing over the last few months. So uh, I'm looking forward to growing uh, stronger than ever while keeping my body fat at a healthy percentage. So thank you guys for being a part of this. Subscribe if you wanna see more about it. I'm shaving my beard off tomorrow. Uh, so there's going to be a video about my one year beard growth uh, resulting in me hacking this thing off. So make sure to check that out too. And uh, thank you guys for following along. I will see you soon.